one brand tutorial in this video where I only use one brand for everything in the look. So face, eyes, lips, it's all going to be the same. Uh, consequently, this brand is e.l.f. Eyes, Lips, Face. And so I'm going to be using all e.l.f. stuff the entire video. Um, you're going to see exactly how these products perform without anything else thrown in. You're not going to see, you know, a random MAC foundation or a Lancome mascara or whatever. There is nothing but e.l.f. in this tutorial. So I think you're going to learn a lot about the brand. I'll have kind of a little review at the end talking about the products that I liked and didn't like. And with this look, I chose to do kind of a classic, almost old Hollywood feel for this look because I felt like, um, I think the perception is that e.l.f. is, you know, like a really cheap or young brand, you know what I mean? Like you're not going to get a really classic finished polish look and so I really wanted to go there with this tutorial. We're talking matte eyeshadow, red lips, you know, everything is just, I feel like, kind of really that classic look, only we're going to do um, actually some navy winged eyeliner, so a slight modern twist on what's going on, but I hope you enjoy this video and keep on watching. I'm going to be using the e.l.f. Tinted Moisturizer SPF 20. My shade is nude. You can see kind of judging by the sunspot right there near my eye about how much coverage this has. You can still see my freckles through it, but I'm just going to blend this all over. It's very, very light coverage. I do like that it doesn't uh, seem to have a wet or like greasy look on my skin right now. It really absorbed nicely I'm using the e.l.f. Studio Concealer and my shade is beige. I've tried some other kinds of the e.l.f. concealers, but this is one I'm a little more curious about because I haven't used it so much. So we'll see what kind of coverage this has. And I'm just patting it in with my finger to try to get the most coverage out of this I can get. It actually reminds me a little bit of the Revlon Photo Ready Concealer. It also has a really natural finish, like I've built it up in some areas under my eyes and I feel like, you know, it, it looks really natural. So I'm going to go in with a powder product now to kind of set some of what we've been doing. I'm using the uh, Complexion Perfection Powder. Someone was suggesting actually taking the yellow tone powder, which oftentimes people suggest use a yellow tone powder under your eye to set your concealer. So I'm totally doing that right now to see, you know, if that kind of brightens any blue toned circles there. I think that actually gave me a little extra light uh, coverage over the concealer. I like that. When I have an e.l.f. brush to do some function, I will use it. I do have the e.l.f. complexion brush, so just kind of a all-purpose face brush. And so I'm just going to swirl these colors together now. I can't say I notice a big difference, except my face does uh, look more matte now. Next I'm going to use the warm bronzer, so just kind of swirl my brush through all that. And I'm not using this like a contour because it is such a light bronzer. I'm just using it all over to kind of perk up my skin tone a bit. And next I'm using the contouring blush and bronzer, just using a blush brush. to Kind of run this contour right here. This is a product I use on a daily basis. Some of these things have been, you know, e.l.f. items I've picked up but I haven't used a whole lot, but I love this contour. So you can use it on your cheeks, you can use it kind of around your jawline, down your neck, around your forehead. <laughs> For my blush, I'm using one of the $1 Natural Radiance blushes, and this shade is called Flushed. You only need a tiny amount of this because it's very pigmented, and so I'm just going to swirl that on the apples of my cheeks, and the reason why I'm smiling here is because it kind of makes my the apple of my cheek pop up a little more. Then I'm going to do just a little highlighting with the e.l.f. All Over Color Stick in Golden Peach. I think it helps to kind of swirl your finger on there for a minute and warm up the product so it gets a little more creamy feeling. And then I'm just going to blend a little bit of this right on top of my cheekbone here. I'm going to do a little bit on the brow bone as well. A little bit just right down the center of the nose. Finally, the e.l.f. HD powder. I had a bit of a powder explosion over here, but I do love this product and I meant to have this in my updated e.l.f. favorites video, but I'm just going to lightly apply some of this all over. Looking over like the overall appearance of my skin, I'm actually like really impressed <laughs> by the improvement. My skin looks brighter, um, it looks more even for only using a tinted moisturizer and a concealer. Um, and I just, I like the effect of the bronzers and the blush as well. 
All right, I'm using the e.l.f. Mineral Eyeshadow Primer, and I'm just gonna dot a little bit of that on here. The one thing that I've noticed is that it dries to almost a cream to powder finish, and so if you're looking for it to really emphasize the color of the shadow you're putting on top of it, it doesn't have like a slightly tacky finish that really grabs the shadow. You know, it, it kind of it just has a very smooth finish, so just keep that in mind. I'm going to be using the e.l.f. 32 color palette, and we're going to go for kind of a matte look actually here. So I'm going to be using this light matte brown right here. Using my e.l.f. eyeshadow brush, I'm basically just going to pat that on all over my eyelid. Next we're going to go down here to this matte dark gray shade. Going to get a little bit of that on that same eyeshadow brush. Be aware you will get some fallout if you don't tap off your brush. And I'm just going to pat this shade just right over the outer part of my eyelid. And I'm using my e.l.f. Professional Crease Brush. Love this brush. Love the eyeshadow brush too. Um, and I'm going to go to this matte kind of uh, a warm brown, I would call it. Get a little bit of that on there and just start blending this into the crease. Then I'm bringing in a larger brush with a little bit of that same color and I'm just taking that warm brown. See how it kind of is up in here just a little bit? That same color right up here. So just getting it visible on top of the brow bone, basically. We're going to take uh, this peach shade here, which is kind of a little bit of a satiny finish. It's not 100% matte, but it's not sparkly either. And I'm just going to use that as a subtle highlight right under my eyebrow. Finally, using a Q-tip or a little detail brush, there is a shimmery white shade up in the corner. I'm going to get a little bit of that. And just since the look is so matte, Sometimes it's nice to pop just a little bit of brightness right around the tear duct and this shade does it really well. And see how it's suddenly we've just opened up the eye a little bit. One more thing, um, we're going to take that darkest shade that we used on the outer part of our eyelid one more time. Um, use kind of a, a smudgy brush, a liner brush or a pencil brush, whatever you prefer. And I'm just going to get a little bit of that color right here on the lower lash line. I'm using my e.l.f. Cream Eyeliner in Midnight. This is a deep navy blue. This is staying really close to the lash line. We're just going to do a thin line. We continued this line, we would meet the end of the eyebrow. Same deal over here. So it's like pretend you're coming up off your lower lash line and drawing a point that would eventually meet your eyebrow. Once you've got that line, it's easy. All you have to do is connect it a little bit build it up a little bit so it makes sense with your lower lash line. Next I'm going to curl my lashes with my favorite eyelash curler ever, the $1 one from e.l.f. Then I'm using the e.l.f. Lengthening and Volumizing Mascara. It's extremely natural. Like, I don't notice a lot of volume and length really. Even if you build up multiple coats, I feel like it doesn't give you too much, but I love lots of lashes, so we're going to do something about that in a minute. It is kind of nice on the lower lash line, though, because it, it is so non-clumpy at all. Elf sells false eyelashes, including this dramatic lash kit for just a dollar. So I trimmed the lashes a little bit off that end. I'm just going to place these, line them up with the center of my lash line. Got them lined up now. All right, there we go. As they dry, I like to kind of blink down onto my fingers so they dry in a nice upturned fashion. And once you feel those are really starting to bond to your upper lash line, I like to apply one more coat of the mascara just to make sure um, they are really as one. I also have an e.l.f. Uh, brow product. It's the Studio Eyebrow Kit. I have it in medium. It comes with a wax and just a neutrally colored powder. So I'm just going to get a little bit of that wax on here and kind of run this right over my brow. And then I'll take a little bit of the powder. one of the one dollar lipsticks in Voodoo. I wanted to go with a lip that gave us a little bit of a punch. It's kind of a berry red. I'm going to finish it off with a little bit of the one dollar super glossy lip shine in Mauve Luxe. Just to give us a little extra pop. Now I recently put up an 
updated top 10 elf favorites video so check that out for like overall favorites in the brand but as far as what I used in this video I'm just gonna give you my reaction to what I thought was really good and what I thought was not so good if you're looking for a tinted moisturizer that gives you you know light coverage and isn't too greasy I think the elf tinted moisturizer SPF 20 actually worked really well I mean you notice that it didn't cover up like everything on my face it didn't conceal all my freckles or anything like that but it evened me out a little bit and I like the fact that it kind of instantly kind of blended in and I was ready to put more makeup on top of that as opposed to feeling like my face was too wet or tacky. I was uh, pleasantly surprised at the elf studio concealer. I thought it worked really great around my eye area concealing some flaws there and um, in terms of blemishes I mean I would say this is maybe not the most full coverage concealer I've ever tried but for three bucks I think it's great. Love my lip products. I think this is a fantastic lipstick for a buck so I will definitely look into more of their one dollar lipsticks. Love the super glossy lip shine of course. Longtime favorite has always been the contouring blush and bronzer. I think that's a fantastic contour for um, all areas of the face. The warm bronzer is a nice product to use kind of lightly all over your face if you're really fair. This is a bronzer that's not going to give you too much color. Definitely enjoyed the uh, blush here. This is only a dollar. The shade is called Flushed and that has been a long time great product from e.l.f. In terms of this eyeshadow palette, I know I've talked about it before here and there, but um, you're gonna find some really great shades in this palette and some not so good shades. So it's kind of hit and miss. For five dollars, I like it because I think there are enough great shades to keep me coming back to this palette. I've tried almost all of them. I like that you do have some matte shades. We were able to put together an entirely matte look today, but you've got some bright colors, some shimmery colors, and I think that if you were looking to experiment with e.l.f., this is a good product to have. Love my tools, love my uh, e.l.f. $1 brushes, the eyeshadow brush and the crease brush. The eyelash curler, big fan of that. Also, hadn't used this much before this tutorial, but I like this little eyebrow kit. This is a waxy based product here. You can kind of keep your brows in line, you know, with that without having to go over the top of this all with a separate gel. So I feel like I've raved about a lot of different things. Now just a few things that are either kind of eh or not so good. Complexion Perfection Powder. Um, I like the thought of using the yellow under the eyes to set the concealer. Thank you so much to those who tweeted me telling me that's a good thing to do, but as far as the powder as a whole, I felt like it mattified my skin, but it did not, uh, I didn't quite get that it was evening out my tone overall. The mineral eye primer is good. Um, I have had pretty good staying power with this. The cream eyeliner. I feel like there are better drugstore cream liners out there like um, Wet n Wild and Maybelline that glide on better, that just go on with a little more intensity like right off the bat. I felt like I had to do some work to build this up. There are definitely better, better mascaras than the lengthening and volumizing mascara. Like I said, if you're trying to keep it as natural as possible, maybe go for the this, but most of, the, most of us, I think, are going for a little more volume, a little more of a difference in our lashes. Speaking of lashes, I actually kind of like these lashes. I think, I, I feel like they're a little different from e.l.f. eyelashes maybe a year or so ago. I'm not sure if they changed something. I thought I was really going to like this e.l.f. all over coat color stick in golden peach but there was more I thought it was just going to be pearly but there's actually some glitter in here and I, with this look I turned out to not really like that so much so thank you again so much for joining me for this video I hope this I guess my goal was to sort of surprise you with what elf could pull off because I'm happy with this finished look and I think it's totally like old Hollywood glam brought back to life with products that are really inexpensive and many of them that I really like so thank you again for watching have a wonderful day and I'll talk to you again soon.